Welcome back to this week's ATV News. There is a mandatory meeting about all winter sports on Tuesday, October 15th at lunch in the North Gym. Make sure to contact Mr. So with any questions. For basketball specifically, there is an informational meeting for girls basketball today at lunch. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. H. As for boys basketball, there is a meeting for that this upcoming Monday, October 7th. Once again, if you have any questions, please reach out for, to Mr. Sell. With more sports information dawns, come touch your tennis knowledge at center court during lunch on Monday, October 7th. Spin a wheel, answer a question, and win a prize. Also, make sure to wish luck to our girls tennis team in their rival match against Hillsdale on October 8th. You can cheer them on at their match at 4 p.m. at Aragon. Wow, we have so many different sports programs and activities at Aragon. I wish I played more sports. I know. We have a ton of student athletes who are committed to playing sports in college that think playing sports here at school is super helpful in different ways. Let's go, Lena! I'm Lena Cruz Prada and in 12th grade. I do cross country and track and I've been running since this grade. My name is Josh Jacobs. I'm in 12th grade. I play baseball and football. I've been playing baseball like for my whole life since I was two. My name is Sierra Troy, I'm in 12th grade. I play soccer and I've been playing since like second grade, so like 10 years. Uh, my name is Jalen Scroggins and uh, I'm a senior. I play football and uh, track. I've been playing for like two years. Hi, my name is Quinn Shirley. Um, I'm a senior and I play soccer. I've been playing soccer since I was six years old. I'm Stella Pizarro. I'm a senior and I play soccer. I started playing when I was in like sixth grade. I recently got accepted to Bluffton, which I'm thinking is committing to. So I'm committed to Claremont McKenna College. I'm committed to play soccer at Claremont McKenna College. As of right now for football, I'm talking to UCLA, USD, and uh, UNLV. Um, so I'm actually committed to play at Wellesley College. I'm currently a team captain, so learning what it takes to be a leader, how to be a good leader, so I've never been in that position before. I mean, definitely like time management, because outside of the sports, it definitely you definitely have to like lock in and you know manage your time and do your homework. Make sure you like spend time with your friends, spend time with your family. It's helped me stay focused, especially in school, because uh, knowing I have to keep on my grades uh, to play and potentially go like after high school. Um, I've learned like the the value of like hard work and also commitment. I've seen where when I put in the time on the field, um, that like translates to a better performance off like when I, during games and so just like the importance of really being committed and putting your all. For time I realized that it's something I want to be involved in career wise and with that in mind it, it kept me disciplined to like keep working hard. Like soft skills, I feel like that's a very important part of playing a sport and also for your future and being successful. I feel like, yeah, it's definitely giving me like an opportunity to play in college and go to a college that I've really like been interested in for a long time. It teaches me important life skills that are useful in careers, such as time management and like diligence. Most definitely the communication and forming like relationships with people and also keeping a respectful environment, even if you don't always want to be respectful. <laughs> A moment that made me feel like part of the team was like this is dinner a work site that we do. It was things we realized like how far we've come as a team and how all of the hard work's been paid off. We just going out to dinner and like spending time with everybody, having fun and just team bonding really. Definitely at Aragon when we got all the way to CCS, like the CCS finals, like the championships. I think when uh, my club team went to Denmark and we made it all the way to the championship, that was a definitely got high for me I think in my soccer career uh, seeing like all of our hard work pay off together in that in that uh, game was really exciting I was in the same tournament as Quinn when we went to Denmark and yeah that whole experience of being in another country with your team and going all the way to the championships and winning was insane for those that are interested in sports my advice is just don't look down on yourself it happens in sports more often than you think but you will make mistakes, but that's how you like learn and grow as an athlete. So, whatever mistake you made, just like learn from it, keep going forward. Okay, now I really wish I played sports sooner. It's okay. Now other students know how beneficial being a part of a team is. Don, the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
Aragon is all about raising awareness for breast cancer, and you can do so too by coming to support our girls' volleyball team in their game against Woodside on Tuesday, October 8th at 5.30 p.m. Remember to dress in pink to match our theme and raise awareness for breast cancer. Also, our breast cancer awareness rally will take place in Center Court at lunch on October 11th. We will be having performance from the band, dance team, a game with GSA, and more. We also have other sports events here at Aragon to support the cause of breast cancer, so keep a lookout for our flag football pinkout game on October 16th at 7 p.m. And our boys football pinkout game on October 25th at Burlingame High. JV is at 4 and varsity starts at 7. On top of breast cancer awareness games, we also have pride games here at Aragon. On October 5th at 5 p.m. we have a water polo pride game and a football pride game that same day at normal football play times. Wow, we really have a lot of events here at Aragon. Right? I'm excited for the International Food Fair. What's that? It's when all of Aragon's various cultures come together to have performances, raise money, and most importantly, share different types of food. That sounds really fun. Let's learn more about it. This is our 19th annual International Food Festival at Aragon. I don't know where exactly where the origins are, but I know that we've been keeping this going for 19 years. So we need a whole community of volunteers, families, parents, teachers, students, um, and to run this food fair. It takes a village. We usually don't have too many events, I feel like, at Aragon outside of school. A lot of them are during lunch but I feel like food fair is a fun way that people can come together, eat some food, um, and spend time with their classmates or families. It opens their eyes and sees other cultures and gives them a different perspective and point of view on different people's cultures around the school. I think the main goal of this event is to have fun. Uh, we've got a lot of foodies at Aragon. I just hope that this will be an event, an event where everybody gets together and dine together, break bed together, and have a good time. In the past, I've gone to food fair, I think every year. I've gone with my dad and also my friends. Um, it's a great way that me and my friends get to spend time um, looking at all the different cultures and food. It's just um, a way to share our cultures, our um, our heritage, what we what we come from, our background. I, I personally, I love to cook. I'm, I'm Chinese and I love cooking Chinese food. The food fair means to me that I get to share my uh, passion for my cuisine and my culture with other people. Um, I'm really excited to see some like Jewish stuff because I'm Jewish and I want to see like latkes. I hope there's latkes. I'm most excited for one thing, obviously they have a lot of food, but in addition to that, they've had performances in the past, um, whether that be dance team or Filipino club doing tinickling. Um, so I think that's just another way that we're sharing our culture other than just the food. I love it. It's one of my favorite events at Aragon, so I'm really happy. I didn't even know I signed up to be a co-chair, but, you know, here I am and happy to work with Carrie together. I think it's wonderful to be able to try other people's cuisine and other people's food um, and their heritages. So it's a great, great opportunity to just kind of get to know one another. Oh, I'll definitely be going to that for the performances and food. Don, if you're interested in going to Hoko, Ticket starts next week at $50. Before you buy your ticket, make sure to fill out the student pass, which are available in the student services. This year, ticket sales are a little bit different to ensure that tickets don't sell out to Aragon students and to control long lines so that everyone will be able to enjoy their lunch. Ticket sales are assigned according to last name. Make sure you know which day you're supposed to get your tickets, which is available on the Canvas dashboard. If you need financial assistance for homecoming tickets, be sure to ask any questions in the office. Now we have a special announcement from the Aragon Outlook. <laughs> My name is Ellen. And I'm Leah. And, and we're, we're the editor-in-chiefs editor of the Aragon Outlook. Outlook. Um, this cycle, Aragon Outlook is doing a sender spread on the election and media, so we would like you to fill out a form so we can gather information for st from students. Go to this link to fill out the poll. Thank you. Also, if you need any formal clothes for homecoming, Aragon's having a homecoming thrift store at a formal close and is still collecting any donations up to Wednesday, October 9th. Cl clothes will be put out October 15th and 17th at lunch at in Center Court. Make sure to drop off your clothes in the leadership room 112 or in the main office today. Which reminds me, Halloween's coming up. Aragon will be putting up its first ever Halloween decorating competition between classes. Each class is tasked with transforming their hallway into a spooky fun Halloween wonderland. 
The composition will be judged based on the creativity and how well the decorations capture the Halloween theme. Winning classes will be awarded spirit points and will help their chances of winning the Don Baton at the end of the year pizza party. Be a part of this process by signing up to do setup before school on October 31st or take down during 7th period that same day. Complete this form to let us know your interests. Don's, HS Wellness and Cora's Yeah programs will be providing workshops during Flex focused on dating violence prevention and intervention for youth. Join us during Flex in room 221 on the following dates. Wednesday, October 9th to talk about unhealthy versus healthy relationships. Wednesday, October 16th to discuss consent and boundaries. Wednesday, October 23rd to discuss teen dating and violence. And finally, on Wednesday, October 30th to discuss tech safe. Also, seniors, during Flex on Wednesday, the counselors and counseling team are here to assist on the UC, CSU, and Common Apps in the MPR. The deadlines for these applications are just around the corner and applications are approaching quickly. Take advantage of our wonderful counseling staff while they're here to offer their knowledge and expertise on the All Things College. And finally, here are the results from our first Spirit Week. Seniors are winning with juniors not far behind. For our next Spirit Week, make sure to get your spirit points in center court and remember the class with the most spirit points at the end of the year are in a pizza party and the Don Baton. Let's go seniors! That's all for this week, Dons. Have a good one. Don't forget to stay, stay classy, classy Dons. Dons.